Yo, yo, guys, what's up? I'm going for 10 in a row, but I'm playing a very strong player, Daniel Naroditsky. Uh, let's see how this goes. We have... So I'm going to play this line of the Night Orf. It's a bit, a bit boring. He's, um, he's a strong player. He plays this opening pretty well. All right, buddy. You know, he's one of the top young, what's the word, top young players in the United States, improving fast. You know, he's getting just around that level where he's going to be making the U.S. Championship each year. I think he's like a little under it right now, but he's getting there. Very close. Uh, I gotta go bishop, bishop g5 at some point. Or should I go in like, you know what, I'm going to start with this move. Hmm, alright, I'll do this now. The key in this opening is the d5 square. I guess I'll play h3, because I don't know any better. Just to give myself some space. He could have done that in one move, but he took two, so that's nice. Now what? Knight e1? Or rook a to c1? It's a, path a slightly pathetic move. I just kind of want to put my knight on d5. Maybe knight e1 was better. To go to d3 and then b4. Because the knight on f3 is very badly misplaced, uh, because I want it to get to... I want... It... what's up with, um... I want it to get to the... Well, I'm gonna go a3. I want it to get to the d5 square someday. He can sack on... he can do this. Bishop d2 is the question, the knight takes e4. So I'm just gonna take this, I guess. And so he now is going to be down the exchange, but with quite good compensation. So let's see, c4 looks like a good idea. Knight e5 looks strong actually. Knight e5, pawn takes, rook d7, knight takes. Somehow it looks good. I'm just gonna play it without too much calculating. <laughs> if knight takes, bishop f6 is my idea. And then queen takes e4. My gut tells, and if pawn takes, rook takes d7 is, is pretty good here. Alright, I didn't calculate this super deep, but I just have a very good feeling about this position. Uh, maybe, see the key is also I have bishop b4, like knight takes rook, bishop takes bishop, rook e8, bishop b4 is winning. Just double piece. So, uh, okay. Well now I can I can win a whole piece with rookie seven, queen e seven, queen e four. Should be pretty easy to win. What? Hold on. Alright, he's moving fast because Wow, look at that move. Alright. So what's up? I'm up the exchange now. I can be up hmm. So I'm up a whole rook on the board. Now I can I gotta find can I is there some knockout blow here? Well, I can go bishop... Oh, no. Bishop f6. He can go queen c1. King f... King h2. Jesus, just... Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did he find this move? Um... Well, I'm always going to be up the exchange. Worst case scenario, right? and some pawns. So I, I guess I'm just going to take this and go rook e1. Yeah, I'm not winning all his pieces, but I have a very good position after rook takes g5. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get my 10th in a row. We'll see. Let's take that one. Uh, I guess queen e5 or something, or queen e7. Feels strong somehow. Alright, this Give me a second, guys. Alright, change my mind. Oh, he just goes for the end game. Your rook g3 is a threat, sort of, at this point. Also, he's tied down to his f7 pawn.
Yeah, I mean, I'm technically winning here. I, I just want to win that A pawn, make it even easier. I'm going to stick my rook on E7. That'll make his life pretty hard, too. Uh, what's this move do? Well, I'm not going to get low on time like my last opponent, man. If I lose, it's going to be because I play some stupid-ass moves. <laughs> That's my plan, basically. Uh, let's not go there. It's knight of five. Ooh, gracias, amigo. Checkmate! <laughs> Alright, um, so that's 10 in a row. Uh, he's a very tough opponent, so very strong player. So for me to beat him, that's always good. You know, somehow this knight takes e5 move. I think he, he, he missed it, and not good news for him. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm also on the best list with that win. Uh, let's, let's go back a few moves. And, uh, I mean, I think this usually is good, right? I, I guess he can't do this. I mean, he probably has to take one of the pawns off. I think his position's fine. I mean, Houdini thinks he's doing fine. But I think after this, let me see, is 95 just good? Yep. Way to go, me. Yeah, 95 is a cool little move. The idea is, like, if knight takes... I mean, I realize if I go bishop takes knight, he can just take with a knight, and, and he's defending his bishop. So after this, if knight takes, bishop takes... And I've totally ruined his pawns, and I'm up the exchange. Whereas if pawn takes, we saw what happened. And if knight takes, bishop e7. I'm attacking the rook, I'm attacking the bishop, and if rook e8, I simply have this move. Actually, I didn't see it in advance, I just had a good feeling. <laughs> um, <coughs> who knows, I mean, a little irresponsible, I guess. But I felt like, worst case, I have like a good bishop. Although, honestly, this position might be fine for black. Oh no, it says I'm, I can still go queen b4 and have some small advantage. But in reality, bishop b4 just wins the game. So, that's 10 wins in a row, baby! And let's look at the best list. Boom! What's up, suckers? Alright, so thanks all for watching. Hope I can keep this streak alive. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.